Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today we're going to be doing my classics haul. And this is all classics that I have purchased with my own money. Some of these may be repeats and I apologize if they are in advance. Let's move on. So the first classic that I picked up, this is Shirley Jackson. We have all lived in a castle. I have not read a Shirley Jackson book yet, but this one is the one that everyone kind of swore by. And this is also the one that people have talked about with differences and a little bit of mental illness conversation. So you know how I feel about that. Next one, thank you, Amy. Ta-da, Amy. This is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I am super stoked about this, and I did purchase it in the Cloth Bound Classic. This is my first Cloth Bound Classic, and I am so excited to begin that journey. All right, this one I picked up. This is I Await the Devil's Coming by Mary McLean, and this is published by Melville House Publishing, and I do believe that this is a kind of underhyped classic that didn't really get much attention. So I'm very excited to pick this up. This was where my bookstore recommended I start with the collection since they have a whole bunch of these. So this is the one that they said would be most up my alley. Now I have three of the Virago Modern Classics that I have picked up. I have Valley of the Dolls, which you guys know I already owned, but it was a really sad copy. So I picked up this one because I really loved its edition and it's just so gorgeous. These are just so gorgeous and so well made. So there's that one. Daphne du Maurier, The Birds and Other Short Stories. So there's that one. I'm a big Alfred Hitchcock fan. I don't know if you guys knew that, but yeah, big time. And then this is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, which I have not read yet. So that's a no brainer. Next, we have my Penguin Modern Classics. These are my first two. And that would be Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison. So that one is a gorgeous cover. And I bought it before and I sold it back because I wanted this cover. And I realized that I wasn't picking it up because it didn't have the right cover. I'm a brat like that. The other one I picked up is Perfume by Patrick Sus Sus Suskind. And this one I'm super excited about because murder and intrigue and weird mental crap. So then there's this one that I picked up. This is Dracula by Bram Stoker. This is the Road Classic Publishers. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. I couldn't believe how pretty these were um, when I finally got them in the mail. I did not know that they were so well made and just oh, look at that cover. So my father is a huge Dracula fan and I discovered that we only had, and I thought we must have it somewhere in the house because he loved it so much, but unfortunately we had an abridged version. So we now have the full version, which I'm so excited about. Look at it, so pretty. Next we have the, so I, Jane Eyre is my all time favorite book in terms of classics. And I bought, read it in high school and I didn't own a copy and I was super bummed. So I ordered this one first. And this is the White's Fine Edition. And this is just gorgeous. So this is a large, oversized, beautiful, silk ribbon style hardcover. So I ordered that one and then I was like, well, how am I going to read that? So I ordered the Rhodes Classic as well. But look at it. It's so pretty. And inside of the little lace, there's little symbols that kind of Jane Eyre-esque, which is so pretty. I love this. So I got those two. And they look so nice together. Look at that. These are all the Red Spine editions that I picked up. Yeah. So we have um, Zelda Fitzgerald, Save Me Save Me the Wolf. This is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. This is The Tin Drum by Gunter Grass. And this one, I believe, takes place in a mental asylum, asylum during Nazi Germany or post-war. Either way, right up my alley. This is Trill Trilobites and Other Stories by Bernice Day Pancake. This one was recommended as one that not many people read, so I was super excited about that. Yes. And then this one is my last one, and this is Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. And this one also has the three guineas. Yes. 
So those are all the classics that I've now purchased. I've begun my classics obsession, which is new for me. Um, I grew up really loving classics and then I got out of school and I realized I could read whatever I wanted. So I think I lost that drive. I've got so much to read. I have way more books to read than a normal human should, but I'm actually very excited about that. And I've gotten to the point now where I've realized that my TBR is still smaller than the books on my shelf that I've actually read. So I am actually at an equal value of books read and books unread. So that's really exciting. The other thing that I really need to do is buy a second or a third bookshelf in this style that's going to, in this style that's going to be tall. <laughs> that's my next goal is to buy like a five size huge one. Um, it's from Target. It'll be like 150 bucks, which means if I make $15 a week in allowance weeks if I don't buy anything for 10 weeks I can get my bookshelf it's doable it's crazy but it's doable <laughs> yeah okay good luck with that Acacia future you you are not going to be able to do that wait till your birthday you'll be fine it's been great seeing you again I will see you in my next video bye